All right. Today, what I've been doing is trying to get a rough layout of the trailer. We managed to find three used holding tanks on Kijiji. And amazingly, they will actually fit. <laughs> As you can see, they're used, but the owner assured me that they don't leak. I'm taking off all the old plumbing now. You can see here, it's kind of a transition joint between the ABS fittings and the polypropylene tank. And this is, if you've owned a trailer for a while, you know these always develop a leak after a while. So I'm just slowly working the fitting out and then I'll replace everything with new stuff. What I don't like about this is this big bend here out to the outlet. Uh, we've had great success using a, uh, a tat attachment that blasts water into the tank, into the black water tank to clean it out. Uh, I think it's made by Volterra. You hook a hose up to it and then it just blasts everything out. But you don't want to use that with a big S bend like this because basically it's all the pressure is just going to hit here and do almost nothing. So I'm going to make a nice straight shot to the clean out to the dump and that will solve all the problems. And I don't know if you can really see it here too well, but. What I did was I put a couple of sheets of plywood on top of the deck just so I could draw out. First I drew out the way our ProLite trailer is laid out. It has a marine shower. And this trailer, since we made it, are making it two feet longer, I want to have a separate toilet and shower stall so that we don't have to wipe down the toilet or wipe down the uh, shower every time we want to use the toilet. So working within the dimensions of where the toilet and shower are now and the fridge with the fact that at each end there's a curve so basically at this end the trailer comes out on a curve, comes out on a curve like this, and then is slightly angled at the back as well at the front. So the bed, instead of being up against the bulkhead here, the bed, because it sits up, you know, 16, I believe 16 inches, it gains me eight inches of room which I'm going to put into this area to have enough room for the separate toilet and shower. This area is the dinette area. We could make that a little bit smaller. I don't really want to, but the thing that's gonna, is complicating things here is you can see where the frame rails are since I didn't have tanks, I basically put the frame rails to suit the tanks that are on the ProLite. And one thing I found is when you're trying to get a deal on tanks, it's very hard to find small tanks. We, found, we went to Norotech trailers in Norwich, Ontario, and we bought windows and doors from them. They have scratch and dent and used ones that are off trailer wrecks. And uh, so we got a door and five windows from them, but all their tanks were either too big or too small. In fact, there weren't very many small ones at all. So off to Kijiji we went and these will actually fit. They're the exact width from here to there to fit in between the frame rails with about a half an inch to spare. But the trick is going to be, I want the toilet to be in this area. And you can see where that rail is. 
So I've shifted it over, but the setback on the toilet we're looking at with a, a Domatech Sealand uh, 300, I believe, the setback is eight and a half inches. Well, I don't want to run the toilet drain underneath the frame rails. You can see that frame rails aren't very high, but that cuts into your ground clearance. So I may have to make the toilet area a little bit wider so I can have the toilet facing this way and that way it'll be very easy to get it the stuff to go down into the tank. Anyway, right, that's what I'm working on now and hopefully I can get the tanks I can get it all figured out and figure out where the tanks can be mounted and then I'm gonna do a basic wiring job while I have the deck off. I bought a bunch of grommets and I got a junction box and the cord to connect to the tow vehicle. I got that all from Princess Auto in Barrie, which is where we went to get the tanks. Now you can see the uh, freshwater tank is kind of large. We're probably not going to use that. I'll just clean it up and sell it on Kijiji. It will fit. I left extra room back here because you really don't need a lot of support under the bed. You're not walking there. So save a piece of steel here and leave some room for a tank. But well, the tank, the freshwater tank always goes above the floor anyway. So it will fit, but it's just, uh, it's huge. <laughs> I don't know how many gallons. This thing must be 35 gallons anyway. I haven't bothered measuring it to figure it out. But anyway, we're just going to get a smaller tank. We don't need that much fresh water. We don't do much, any boondocking anyway. So, alrighty. Well, thanks for watching.